Hello and welcome to the 36th episode of the Daily Roundup. Today we bring to you some of the latest and most important news that we report about here at Newsclick. Starting today, the joint agitation has begun at Jantar Mantar in Delhi, amplifying some of the most critical issues affecting Indians everywhere today, seeking a response from political parties, particularly the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party. The joint agitation led by farmers, veterans and youths also comprises several other sections of society. Joining hands for the agitation are ex-servicemen, members of Dalit, Adivasi and Bahujan community, farmers organizations, people affected by chit fund scams, civil society members, citizens against Aadhaar and surveillance, journalists, women's rights organizations and youth and teachers organizations. Today on January 30th, issues that need to be focused on were discussed. Ex-servicemen's organizations took the lead by highlighting issues that affect the serving armed forces, ex-servicemen, war widows and disabled soldiers. This agitation will go on till the 7th of February and each day different social groups and organizations will be bringing to the forefront their dissatisfaction with the Modi government in an attempt to set their own agenda for the upcoming parliamentary session. The only two independent non-government members of the National Statistical Commission NSC, PC Mohanan and JV Minakshi have now resigned over disagreements with the government. And they have stated that the Modi government's decisions rendered the commission ineffective. This was an act of protest against the withholding of the NSSO's National Sample Survey Organization's first annual survey on employment and unemployment for the year 2017 and 18. This report, the first by NSSO in this government, was expected to reveal job losses in the wake of demonetization. Center for Monitoring Indian Economy (CMIE) Chief Executive Mahesh Vyas said on Friday, demonetization may have caused job losses of at least 3.5 million people and the damaging impact on labor force was even starker. The numbers were arrived at from the CMIE survey that covers around 1.72 lakh households across the country. The note ban also hit the participation of young people in the labor force and hurt women more than men he added. The 2017 to 18 job survey did not present a good picture on the employment front. This is most likely the reason for holding it back said a source in the NSSO. Earlier the NSSO undertook employment or unemployment surveys once in 5 years. The last survey was released in 2011 to 12. Narendra Modi led BJP government has attracted severe criticism for the way in which demonetization was announced and carried out in the country and for its severe impact on people's lives and on the economy that hasn't recovered since In international news a Palestinian man identified as 38 year old Hamdi Nasan was shot in the back by illegal Israeli settlers accompanied by Israeli soldiers in the village of Al Mughair he succumbed to his wounds shortly afterwards according to reports Israeli settlers tried to break into the village and raided it with the help of Israeli soldiers when the Palestinian residents tried to defend their village the settlers responded by firing towards them during which Nasan got hit According to the Palestinian Red Crescent at least 30 people were injured during the incident out of which 6 were injured by live ammunition around 750,000 Israelis live in the occupied Palestinian territories of occupied East Jerusalem West Bank and Gaza Israeli settlements on occupied Palestinian land are illegal under international law The United Nations envoy to the Middle East Nikola Mladenov commenting on the daylight killing of Hamdi Nasan called on Israel to put an end to settler violence and bringing those responsible to justice thank you for watching news click please visit our website www.newsclick.in subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook